what number does the tag display so we'll close this and open building 1c um, activity level 1 for plan tag the door highlighted by with level one tag by category we go here and tag by category and the question says what number does the tag display and the answer is two Uh, next question open building base o2 revit activate section one view in the image there are three levels when creating a level what does the blue and black colors in the symbol beside the level indicate uh, the question is asking about this blue and black color so here we have um, options but yeah as we know we will uh, follow the steps uh, open we will close this and open building base o2 and activate section one view and here is the black and the blue colors um, the question is uh, what does the black and blue symbols indicate uh, the black symbol uh, indicates simply that there is no floor plan associated with this level and the blue one um, indicates that there is a plan view associated with this level um, so that mean that in this case in this case if we opened this Revit file we will find a floor plan for level 0 a floor plan for level 1 but we will not find a floor plan for level 3 so open here that's the Revit file and as we can see here there is a, for a floor plan for level 0, level 1 and there is nothing for level 3. So let's try to do something. If we will create, if, if we created now a floor plan for level 3 then this black color should turn into blue. So to do that we will um, open a view and plan view and go to floor plan that's the way we can um, create a floor plan view and here it tells me uh, level 3 because that's the <coughs> the the level uh, that uh, that's not created yet and we click ok so here it took me directly to to the view but we will go back to the section and here the uh, black color turned into uh, a blue as the <coughs> the level was created okay so we'll close this we don't need it for now so here we will just pick we'll see our options we want the black there is a floor plan no that's not correct yeah that's one there is no floor plan view associated with this level and the blue one there is a floor plan view associated with this level okay next one is uh, the roof Okay, question about the roof. Yeah, that's um, the typical system. You will find a question, a question about roof, about floors, 
and that's the most con consuming uh, tasks and the tasks i i can call them like a bulky task so there is a lot of information a lot of things you have to read before you can um, solve the question so in your training for the exam uh, make sure at first place that you master those areas the the roof the ceiling the floor the 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 walls uh, uh, the stairs of course we will get into this um, later in this um, exam so here we will open roof 1e uh, rabbit okay we'll go here and open roof 1e and activate level 2 floor plan view we will activate level 2 floor plan view and um, use the outside parameter of the wall created uh, and create a wall a roof by footprint with the following settings level 2 and here are the settings with which i should create the exam the the, uh, the roof so um, we will just follow the steps carefully first thing before i draw before i draw or i put my lines here i should put the settings first so the settings is at level two check it at level two okay uh type roof generic 125 okay that's the type uh, drafter cut two cut square drafter cut two cut square for the lines defining slopes check the attached image okay and that's a very important part uh, okay uh, we'll get into this in a second for the line defining slopes the overhang is 0.8 the overhang 0.8 extend to wall core checked so we check this so now uh, it says here using the outside parameter of the wall uh, the outside parameter means this part if it says the inside parameter uh, then it's this side and you just move your mouse just a little bit to switch uh, between both. Uh, so here we use the outside parameter and we press the tab key uh, so that it, that's the whole uh, parameter of the four walls and we just click. So here uh, that uh, outline is created but there is something that for the lines defining the slope it says check the attached image and here as we can see um, not all the four walls have the this this mark this mark means that this um, edge is defining the slope so here we have those two opposite edges are only um, defining the slope and those two are not so we have to take care of this point we should go here and select those two and uncheck defines slope otherwise uh, we will get a different uh, shape of the roof and therefore we will get a different um, uh, answer and a wrong answer yeah and we press okay uh, would you like to attach the highlighted wall it it doesn't matter if we say attach or, or don't attach it will not affect our uh, roof volume so i will um, choose not to attach <coughs> um so here we have this roof and um 
what was um, the, the thing, the result that we should come back is the volume of the roof. So we go here and what is the volume of the roof? 35.435. That's the question, the, the answer. 35.435. There is one thing really quick I can, uh, I just want to show you if we edit this footprint and we made those both define slope. Okay, and we pressed okay. And we can say also don't attach. Look how this form changed. And if we check the volume, it's different. It's a completely different roof. So we press Ctrl Z, and that was our roof. Okay. We can, yeah, if we can attach this, it. Uh, it uh, it doesn't matter, it will not affect any of the, the parameters of the roof. So I'll close this and go to the next question. Go to the next question. Okay, here we have put our answer. Next question stairs. Okay, I I tend to say that stairs and roofs are yeah, the most uh, time-consuming um, um, uh, tasks in, in, in the exam. So we'll open a dot stairs, but um, when you solve many exams, you will find that always this, the roof and uh, stairs exam come in the same way you activate a view and then you will be asked to create a stairs okay and you will be given the settings and at the end you you'll be asked to get a dimension or something like this um, in my case in my exam it was a dimension and uh, in all the practice exams I got, it was a dimension also. Uh, so we'll open a stairs. We'll open a stairs. And we will activate level one. We'll activate level one floor plan. And here it says. First run start at intersection and second run start at intersection. And intersection means the intersection of this line with this um, um, inner uh, edge of the wall. We will um, draw the stairs in, in seconds. Uh, but uh, let's see here yeah so if we checked this photo uh, here is that is the start okay and that is the direction here is the start point and the second point and most probably in in, in, in the exams it's the same uh, there is first run at uh, first run and second run and uh, it's highlighted or you will be given the instructions to how to draw it. So the type is uh, a six precast, base level, top level, base. Okay, so um, we will start uh, drawing the steer and as the...